Okay, so there'll be times in developing your Android applications that you'll want to save certain information in between launches. Or you may want to save information in your app before it exits or closes. For example, what we want our app to be able to do is have the user be able to type some information into a couple of text fields. So the default on this is that if we exit out of our application, we move out and then we come back in again. We want our data to remain persistent, so we don't want it to go away if we have to exit out to do something and then come back in again. And to do this, we can also use the shared preferences, only it's not a direct intention by the user to save these and come back to it. We'll set up our app so that as soon as we have an on stop or our application is about to exit, to save the content of what's in here. So that's going to be the goal for this demonstration. So I'm going to go back into my Eclipse package and I'm going to show you what I have set up so far and then we're going to continue building this app to get it to work. So I have my main XML file and I have two edit texts. I have one for username and it is called username. So we'll be referencing that in our Java file. And then I have another one for email and the ID for this is email. And next I'm going to go into the Java file and we have the default settings when we create a new activity in our Java file. So the first thing I want to do is get a reference to those two edit texts on our layout so that we can refer to them in our code. Now I want to refer to them in a couple of different places. It's not just going to be in an on create. We're also going to have another method. So I'm going to create properties for those two edit texts on the class. So right in after the opening class, I'm going to put in references to those edit texts. So I've added properties on our class which will hold the references to these edit texts. So I'm calling one name text and I'm calling the other email text. And again, I'm putting them up here on the class so that I'll be able to reference them not only in the onCreate method, but in other methods that I add in to this Java file. So now um, it wants me to import the edit text widget, so I'm going to do that and that should take care of those error messages. So now that I have references to these, in my onCreate, I want to be able to access the values for those. So I've added some text to get the references to the edit text. So uh, name text and email text are coming from where we set up these properties. And we're going to use the find view by ID method to go out and find the username and the email. Next, we need to create an instance of the shared preferences class in our onCreate. Okay, and so here's the code, and I have some comments in here to go along with it. So we're creating an instance of the shared preferences, and we're naming it settings. And it's going to get the shared preferences, which is automatically available in each app that we create. We have our own little sandbox, our own area where we can access information and uh, values. And it's going to create a My Prefs file. So if it doesn't exist already, it's going to create it and give it this name. And then we're going to set a value of zero, which will allow us to write to the preferences file. Now again, um, I need to import in the shared preferences. And one last thing that we're going to add into our onCreate method is a default setting. The first time that this application runs, remember onCreate is going to create it. So the first time that it runs, there won't be any preferences set for the name and email. So what we're going to do is add some references to that. We're going to set some default values. So we're getting references to our edit text. We're going to set the text of the edit text to the settings, right? Our shared preferences is our settings. And we're going to tell it to get the string for name value and email value and set it 
for the value of those edit texts. So again, the first time this runs, these won't have any value. So this is going to set a value in my preferences, right? It's going to set a value in the get shared preferences, and it's going to have a key and a value. So it's going to assign a key of name value in my preferences, and it's going to set a string to an empty string. That's two double quotes with no spaces in there. So we're setting it as a default value for the first time that this application will run. Okay, so now the whole purpose of this exercise is to figure out how to get our app to save the information. This happens during onCreate, so when the application starts. So how do we take this content that's in our edit text already and save it in case a phone call comes in or a text comes in, something else interrupts the application or puts it into an exit state. In order to do that, we can reference an on stop. An on stop is going to be called when the application is about to exit. So again, we're going to call our shared preferences with the name settings and access the, the name and we also want to be able to write to it. So this type of a setup will allow us to save state in our application. And in order to be able to make changes to our shared preferences, we have to invoke an editor. And so we can use the shared preferences editor class. This line will create an editor object and then from that we can say editor put string name value and then we get the information that's in the edit text for name and then we repeat the same thing we get the editor we put string get the value of what is in the email edit text and then we use the commit method to save the edits into our shared preferences. Now here you can see the value of having defined our properties in our class, right? Up here inside the class, we created our properties for our references. Okay, so now if I save everything and then I come back in and run my app, we'll type in some information. And now at this time, if I exit out of the application, and go back in. This time it maintains the data that I had in my edit texts. So we're able to use shared preferences in order to be able to save state information. So even though it may not be something that the user intentionally goes in and consciously sets, like a username and a password or other types of preferences, we can get information based on where the user is. So if they're playing a game and they have a certain score and they have to exit the application, you don't want them to come in and have to start the game all over again. You want to maintain the score and the position that they were in. So this is valuable because you never really know when your application is going to be killed or it's going to be exited. So you have to think in advance of what's important to save and then you can use your shared preferences to be able to maintain those settings.